truly appreciate it. Thank you everybody for attending today. Truly appreciate your, your time and hope we bring you some value. Um, uh, quickly show you our uh, next slide. Um, that's me, uh, Bob Black. I'm the multi-industry division vice president. Um, that's the division that sells, uh, implements and services Acumatica. Um, really, really appreciate your your time and attention today. So, you know, the purpose of these uh, of these webinars is to give you something. We're trying to give you information. We're trying to give you uh, context. We're trying to, you know, make sure that, that we're adding value to our relationship with um, uh, with with these presentations. This is not intended to be anything, um, you know, where you walk away saying, "Gosh, I, I, they want me to buy something." That's really not the intent here. We 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 just want to spend some time together and. Um, you know, I think today's topic is a, is a, is an interesting one. I think we've got two we've got two topics. Kind of one is is support tips and tricks, and then the other one is kind of some of the new features and the new release uh, that just came out last week. So uh, it's going to be a going to be a full forty five minutes, um, and and looking forward to to showing uh, showing and, and telling you about it. Um, as as uh, as Lauren said, you know, we do like to keep keep this as interactive as possible. If you do have questions. Uh, please, uh, please raise your hand. Please, uh, please put them into the chat. I really want to try and make this as interactive as possible today. And with that, we'll get started. Just one slide. I promise one slide about action. Um, you know, action continues to grow. Um, you know, 45 million in revenue. We're one of the larger partners. We were just, uh, uh, we, received the, we received the award for uh, the Acumatica Construction Partner of the Year uh, for 2021. Uh, great honor to be uh, to be to be to be receive that award. Lots of hard work by our team went into that, um, and and I think that um, you know Action is a full service company. You know we're here to help you. Uh, we have a lot of resources. We have a lot of executives that have been around the, the block quite a few times. Uh, we just want to be part of your 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 dis part part of the discussion when as you're looking at uh, doing things and making changes and planning the future. We want to be part of that discussion. And, and I guess we'll, we will get to uh, a few kind of those uh, those details as we kind of go through today. I'll, I'll also say that, um, you know, like like any like any good book, um, you know, the, the 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 last slide is the good one. So um, we, we we've got some kind of show and tell. We're going to go through uh, with some PowerPoint slides. Um, we're going to go out and we're going to talk about the, uh, the Acumatica community and kind of take you out there and kind of show you around that place, which is a very important place for uh, support trips and uh, tips and tricks. And then we're going to actually go into Acumatica and the brand new version of Acumatica right at the end. So stay tuned and please uh, sit back and relax. And uh, we get, we got to get to get to the end to get you the good stuff. So here we go. Um, so support tips and tricks. Um, so we've got a few things on the agenda here, which we're going to go through the Acumatica community website, and we're actually going to take you out and we're going to go through this together. Um, the forums, the support, the product ideas, the training, um, we want to talk a little bit about product life cycle. I think everyone here is an Acumatica customer. And I think we want to just kind of give you some information about, uh, what the product life cycle is, whether you're aware of it. And, you know, I think many people, maybe not is. You know, as you get as you buy Acumatica and you go through implementation, and now you're 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 up and live on Acumatica. You know, keeping keeping track of the of the of the product lifecycle is a pretty important thing. Uh, we like to share, um, you know, something that's kind of a a commitment from Acumatica, which is the customer bill of rights, which we'll go over that uh, in in some detail. That's a, a commitment from the Acumatica executive team. Um, you know that. You know your rights as a customer, and uh, it's a great list of things. Um, and we do want to briefly talk about action support and the options there, uh, just briefly also. And that's before we go into uh, some of the uh, the new features. Um, Acumatica community. Um, you know, when you join Acumatica, you're joining a community, um, and that and that means a lot of things. And I think we want to go out and. You know, hopefully you are all at least familiar with the community. If not, we're going to take you on a tour of it. Um, it. It really is a great place. It and you know when, you know as a as as a legacy reseller who has now kind of embraced and gotten into this 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 next generation concept of software. You know this is a typical thing for next generation. You know the, an Acumatica community. 
it's supported, it's open, uh, there's a lot of dialogue going on, and it's a lot of people. And uh, I really, really look forward to kind of showing you some of the things that are going on out there if you're not familiar with them. If you are familiar with them, you know, great. I'm glad that you're involved in it because that really is the right place to go. You know, it's, an, it's a site that's run by Acumatica, which is important. So this is not something that Action set up, it's something that, the, that Acumatica themselves have set up. And so it goes across their employees, it goes across their partners, and it goes across their customer base. And it's very well segmented into uh, different areas of Acumatica, construction, distribution, manufacturing, all, all those different areas are pretty well defined. Uh, inside the Acumatica community, and we actually were going to go out there and take a take a um, a um, a tour of that training, uh, which we're going to go to, and we're going to take a quick tour of training. Also, here's the URL for the training: uh, Open University at Acumatica.com. Um, and there's a there's some courses there, and I think there's a, there's a couple of really interesting. Um, documents out there, which I want to share with you, and hopefully, again, maybe you know about these, uh, but but if not. I think they're, they're of great value to anybody who's using Acumatica. Okay, product life cycle. Um, Acumatica as a next generation product, it is not um, one of those, unless you're on a small, uh, unless you're on a small license, then you automatically get updated. Um, and, and so that, that, that being said, you're always up to date. <clears throat> Basically monthly, you're getting updates. People who are not on the small license, you have um, the option as a virtual environment out there in Acumatica to take the upgrades and uh, when when you need want to take them. Um, you know the customizations that are done, uh, the report changes that are done, the inquiries, the the dashboards. You know many of those things quickly uh, can be upgraded. Uh, but it is something that you have to kind of plan for and think about. And this kind of this graphic kind of shows us exactly what's going on with some of the 2020 versions, the 21 R versions, and even the 22 version that we're going to talk about later today. So it's laid out exactly where these things start, where the middle is, and where the end of each of they each of these is. Um, that the, the development that goes into the new versions of Acumatica is substantial. And um, we're gonna see some of that a little bit later in the 22R1 version. Um, so, you know, there's, there's times when it makes sense to upgrade. There's times when maybe you've got some complex integrations and you don't wanna upgrade every time. You have control over when you do an upgrade. But if you get behind, like as we see here, you know, 2020R1 is now sunset. So that's that's that is now out of support. Um, you know, when when you run out of support on your current version and you do your next update as far as your uh, renewal, there's going to be a there's going to be a, a a penalty for for not keeping current. So we don't want that to happen. I guess that's why we, one of the reasons we want to we want to clarify this for you. There's enormous benefits in keeping current, um, and there's enormous. As I said, there's there's a lot of development going on into each of these new releases. So there's I, there's there's things that will help you in your business and make you more efficient just by keeping uh, just by keeping current. Just wanted to briefly talk about that. Um, you know, sometimes this raises some questions. Again, if you have questions about this, you know, um, you know, reach out to to myself, your sales rep, uh, any of your consultants that you're dealing with. So. I uh, just want to make sure that this is on your radar. Um, <clears throat> Acumatica Customer Bill of Rights. Um, and again, this is this is a commitment from the executive team and the ownership team, the, the board of Acumatica, um, about your your rights as a customer. Um, you know, uh, a sustainable pricing with annual increases not more than three percent. Um, you know, that's that's a big one. I think in the legacy world that I think some of us are, are used to, you know, 3% um, is is a is a very small number in comparison. And, you know, the the amplification of, of licensing, um, you know, does really become kind of counterproductive at some point. You know, Acumatica, you know, for, for, for the 3% increases that they have, they bring a lot of value to, to, to that as, as as we'll see later on with some of these new releases. 
It's clear to understand, and one of the, most, the one of the other most important things about living in a SaaS environment, a, a subscription uh, cloud environment, um, is you know the, the the confirmation of who owns your data. You own your data. There's no question about that. You know, access to your data anytime. So you you want a copy of your data? You can do a snapshot. You can take it off, and you can go to an unlicensed version of Acumatica, set it up, and have access to your data forever indefinitely. So, you know, we want to make sure that's crystal clear. That's not all SaaS companies feel that way. And I think it's important to kind of uh, highlight those those few things. Um, you know, the consumption based licensing. Um, it's another another real benefit. You know, the, 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 the multiple ways that you can deploy it and the multiple ways that you can license it so that, you know, we look at business documents so that um, as 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 somebody in the warehouse or some salesman on the road or you know people who are casual users and not your hardcore you know day to day you know heavy heavy entry uh, people in your office they all they all get logins you know there's there's no reason not to have uh, that not to have everybody with a seat on the bus I guess we like to put it that way so that you know everybody gets uh, gets access to the software even if they're if, even if they're on the road and they're only in there a couple times a week they still get a they, they still get a license. A um, few, a few of those, um, um, you know, kind of high level, uh, important points to the the customer bill of rights. And again, you know, this is this is published on the website. Um, if you want copies of of this, we'd be more than happy to send it to you. Again, contact myself, uh, contact Lauren from marketing, contact your sales rep, uh, anybody. So with that, we'll go out and we'll take a quick tour of the Acumatica community website. Um, you know, a little, little history, this was, you know, put together, I think, uh, about a year and a half or maybe 2 years ago. Um, you know, these were kind of separate places. There was a forum and there was product ideas. There was education. There was support. You know, there was these, these different areas, different ways to to go and interact with Acumatica and, and they did a, they did a. A really good thing for the community. They started a, a page that kind of has it all soup to nuts in one place. And, you know, that's that's this URL community.acumatica.com. So, I wanted to kind of maybe take you through just a little bit. So, we are a partner. So, I, you'll see partner things on here because I'm logged in. I don't have a, I don't have a customer login. I've only got a partner login. So, I'll point out those differences, but, um, you know, news and announcements, great place to find out what's going on. Um, you know, you can see there's interactive and, and I think you'll see as we kind of go through this, no matter where you, you know, no, no matter where you click into, you've got tags and things to kind of narrow down. If you want to look at certain things from certain people, you want to look at certain things about certain areas of, of the application, certain types of announcements, you know, you can, you can drill into all of these. So, uh, a great place just to keep current on what's going on. Um, Discussion forums, and again, distribution, construction, payroll, field service, manufacturing, you know, all these, you know, here's our list of everything, but we can narrow down into certain areas if we wanted to, 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 to dive in there. Here's Tammy Schneider. So this is one of our consultants that posted a, a question out here. So consultants uh, from, from, from uh, resellers are in here, customers are in here, People from Acumatica are in here, so um, you know people who are um, some of the some of the, the 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 key the key decision makers inside the Acumatica community are out here also. So it's a great place just to kind of ask questions, get feedback, get, start an interactive discussion on on pretty much any topic. And we'll go back. Um, one of my favorite areas that I want to show you is the product ideas and I'll show and I'll show you exactly why I think this is so this is so good. <laughs> Here we go Graham Graham Price, uh, one of our software engineers has got a, a, a um, an issue out here. So um, this this is where you go and you say, hey, it would be great if Acumatica did X, whatever that is. Um, and again, it can be filtered down by different, different areas of, of Acumatica. <clears throat> and one of the one of the most important things is you can also look at 
uh, what the status of the idea is. So something that's gathering feedback, in other words, something's been brought in a product manager. So, right, the product managers who um, uh, work on the roadmap, who actually set the roadmap, they come here and see what you know, the, 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 the group, the both partners and the, and the customers are saying about, hey, it'd be great if we could, you know, make a change to do something better. So the product managers actually do come out here and look at this as part of how they set their roadmap. Um, so then when we look at things that are gathering feedback as an example, and we want to go and look at something in, um, let's see, so this is construction. So here we got construction. We want to know about construction. We want to know about what, what's gathering feedback. Um, so here's an example of something that I have already voted for. When you, when you get this look, you know, you're going to log in. It's going to ask you to log in. Um, and I'm going to vote for Graham. I'm going to, I'm going to vote for Graham's here because he's a, he's a smart guy and he knows what he's doing. So I'm just going to vote for him because I know him. Um, but, you know, this is an opportunity to see, and you can sort these things. You can see how, how things are being reviewed, um, what suggestions are being made and, 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 and to be able to participate saying, yeah, I think that's a great idea. Or maybe you want to give feedback. So if we go into here. We'll go into this topic and you'll see that people can actually give feedback. So here's an example of what Graham is saying, why this is needed. Here's Heidi Dempsey. She's actually a, a customer success uh, project manager at Acumatica. We've got other people giving uh, feedback in here. Um, so, you know, this is also kind of an interactive way to say, yeah, that's great, but, or, hey, we've had that same issue and, and here's why it's important to either support or to, uh, you know, to give feedback on, on, the, on the issue also. Um, but again, this, this is where the roadmap comes from. And, you know, even things that are, even things that are planned. So you wanna see what's, what's out here in the community of things that are being planned. I'm gonna take construction off so we can go out and see everything. But here's the list of things that product managers have come in and looked at and people have said, yep, yep, we're gonna add that to the future product. Um, even, you know, I have a number of topics in here that I've started. Some of them are, some of them are older ones, but they're still, they're still gathering inf information. They're still being considered. Um, someone hit me one, hit me with one the other day. It would, it'd be great if a sales order could do both a, a, a sales transaction and a credit on the same, on the same sales order. Acumatica said, no, that's really not something that, uh, that, that it does today, but you know, here it is as an idea. It's just, and it's, 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 a, it's a slow way to, to, to make a, a change in the product. You know, I, I think you'll see some of these are, you know, uh, a year plus old, two years old, um, three years old. Um, so, you know, I think it, it, it definitely is a slow, we, we, we as your partner can step in and help with this and we can get more people to support it. I think part of being part of the community is to get support for things that are important uh, to you. Uh, but, you know, hey, we can't wait for this, this long, this long term of waiting for someone to, to put this in the roadmap and build it into the, the one of the next future builds. You know, we're here to help you by correcting it too, as with a software, with a uh, customization if needed also. Okay. Um, this is if for anyone who bought, I think after July of 2020, uh, you have basic support. Um, so here's a place that you can go and log support cases directly from Acumatica. Um, this is also where you're going to go and you're going to learn. This is where this is one of those education uh, places that we want to take and show you also. Um, and we'll go to open university.acumatica.com. So some obvious things, you know, obviously you're here to, you're here to learn. So there's courses, right? So you can go down and you can look at courses. Um, these are the same courses that, that partners go through, but there's no testing for, for customers. Um, it, so it, it re they really are good. They're, they're good examples of learning different areas of the application. Um, you know, there are course catalogs, there's learning paths, um, 
you know, it's, it's a great place to, and, and you'll con you can see that there are some detailed discussions around system administration, reporting, web services, development. You know, if you do have someone who's got development skills, I mean, there is a course out here to get very deep into Acumatica. So these, these are, these, these are, these are great. These are great places to come and learn about Acumatica. One of the things that I think is somewhat, you know, and if you don't know it's here, maybe you haven't been here and found this, these job aids. Job aids are, these are documents. So these are Word documents that, so that they're completely editable, right? So you want to open up um, inventory clerk, right? So we're just going to open up an inventory clerk and here's the job aid for an inventory clerk. So in other words, you know, here's an example of, you know, some, you know, here's a, um, I'm going to open the file here in Word. I apologize. So here it is in a Word document. So now we can edit this. So if your inventory clerk, you know, here's the standard process someone's going to go through uh, to, to uh, enter an inventory issue or issue a, a, a type. So when you're going to do an inventory transaction, here's a step-by-step -step process what you can go through. Well, you know, ABC company might want to come in here and say, I'm going to put a step seven on here and make sure that this is approved, make sure that uh, the foreman, the shop uh, foreman uh, knows about this, um, make sure that the a copy of whatever I just did goes back to the office. You can tailor these to make them, you know, fit you and your business. So, um, and as you can see, they're, they're, they're comprehensive. Um, so back to job aids. Marketing, sales management, order and inventory, uh, support, you know, financial things, accounts payable, accounts receivable, controller, you know, all all the all the basic functions are, you know, either they're identified with a step by step process, and it's all customizable, so you can come in here and make it whatever you whatever you wish it to be. You know, it's kind of a way to standardize business processes when, as you're as you're going through an implementation, you know, that's one of the. One of the things that kind of naturally comes out of implementing Acumatica is going and standardizing some of your processes. So, you know, this is kind of a way to, you know, kind of, you know, work, work through that as part of the implementation. And then after that's done, you've got your job aids all set and ready to go for you to kind of take new people, that new person that starts as accounts payable, you know, you're going to say, here's our standards for how we're going to do this. So it's kind of a kind of a good opportunity that Acumatica gets you started on. And, and, you know, it might, it might, might take you off into areas that aren't listed here and, and go out and create new job aids for things that, that, that don't exist. Okay, so education, job aids, community, um, lots of good stuff there. So, Bob, as you're transitioning, somebody was asking if um, these are included or um, are they available for pay for purchase? They're included. So when you're part of when you're part of the Acumatica community, and and we have we have and it's, it's a great question. So thank you for asking that. Whoever asked that, um, you know, we there is a login. So when you sign up and you're identified as a customer, you can come out here and request a login. If you're not a customer, right, and and you're just a, maybe a prospect, just learning about Acumatica, or somebody who just wants to learn about Acumatica, maybe a college student, whatever, you can come out here and you can also create a login. You know, you can use your own email address. You can type it in. You can say, I want to become, I want to be a member of the community, and and come here and learn all these things. So what I'm showing you, um, obviously, if you if you your your license will allows you access to support, but the um, the, 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 the community, the learning, uh, all those job aids, all that is completely available to anybody who, uh, who, who, uh, goes to these, that comes into the community and, and, and all the, all the announcements, the discussion forums, the product ideas that's available to anybody, uh, who, who signs up for this. Great question. Okay. One other quick uh, one while you're still on some, that topic. Um, somebody asked, um, in the community or the university, is there a way to follow something that you voted for or voted on or interested in? So, um, when, when you get to the, when you have a login, 
Um, and you go to the product, and I, I believe that would be related to the product ideas mostly, or, or you know, if you're if you're tracking things like, I, I spend my time in in the um, in in the uh, the topics in the product ideas. As you as you go into different areas and set, if you have a discussion forum, I believe that this should tally up here so that under your profile you should be able to see what things you're you're involved in. So this would be a way to track that. But the, 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 the open university, uh, I do not believe is tied to this login specifically. I think it's more of an open, it's an open university. Uh, it's, I think it's a different website and a different tool that's used over there rather than this, this, this community site. Another good question. Any other questions at this point? No, everybody is thanking you for so adequately and so answering your, their questions so well. So I think we're good. Okay. Okay. So um, now I guess that was that was kind of the setup for support, and I think we talked a little bit about support uh, under Acumatica. So Acumatica support is, um, you know, I got an error message, or um, I'm trying to I'm trying to do this thing and it's not working the way I expected. You know, that's a that's a typical thing you can take over to Acumatica support. It's going to be an email response. I think it's a 24 hour turnaround time for for new tickets for new cases. Um, and and then somebody they've got a they got a dedicated support team that will answer those questions. Um, when when you need some help beyond that. Um, Action is here to help you, uh, and there's a number of different ways that we can help you. Um, we have a, a network operations, you know, as I said earlier, we're a full service uh, reseller. So we have network engineers, we have software engineers, we have consultants that are all part of part of action. <clears throat> and very likely the, you know, the people who are in, in the support group, you know, people who are on the support line are, are consultants uh, within our, our multi industry division. So, um, we would like to be involved in what you what you need. If if you come across something that hey, it's time for that upgrade, and I want to go talk to your network operations center about that, that's a great place to to, to start that process. <clears throat> um, it, it is a um, you know if if you if you need something, we want to be part of your your call. If we don't want to be your last call, we want to be one of your first calls, and. Our network operations center, <clears throat> you know, we're gonna, we have a we have a team dedicated. You know, your your name will come up <clears throat> as somebody who has Acumatica, and then you'll go into the Acumatica queue, and whoever's on hotline that day, which is one of the consultants from our group, may or may not be the person who you're who you're familiar with. Um, but you know, they they will at least take a you know the basic information and try and solve your issue. Um, if we need to escalate that to the person who maybe did your 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 uh, uh, your implementation, or over to a network a software engineer, uh, those are those are certainly things that can happen during that uh, during that that that, that process also. Um, so, but I think you know part of this you know and then we have we have online operations we have email we have phone, um, and then you know we we have a. You know, it's a it's a business hours Monday through Friday that we're here to, uh, to, 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 to take your call. You know, we do have network, you know, the, the, our, our network operation center is run by a bunch of network engineers. So the person who originally takes the call uh, is someone <clears throat> who can help you with, hey, I just had a, I just had a virus of some kind, or uh, my printer isn't working, or, um, you know, there's there's a number of things that could be outside of Acumatica that you could also ask us. So, our network operations center is kind of the hub for all of those type questions. We do offer um, a platform and application support agreement, a PaaS. Um, you know, I think this is part of our effort to try and get you to be, you know, call us first rather than last. When, when, when you don't have a support agreement and you call the hotline, you know, there's a, there, there's a charge for, for using us. And there's times that that makes perfect sense uh, for, for some businesses. We don't need that much. We're pretty self-sufficient. Hey, if I really get into some kind of a, a pickle, you know, we'll give you a call and you can help us, but, you know, we're okay on our own. Um, people who are not that, people who have some turnover, people who 
um, you know, who have some complex uh, issues going on and, um, you know, and, and are, and have more requirements from a support, uh, from a su uh, support um, uh, position. You know, we want, we want to put a PAS agreement in place so that you're, you know, instead of, instead of trying to, you know, go through something, figure it out yourself, I'm going to turn something on, I'm going to try and make something work, I'm going to find my own workaround. I guess we'd, we'd rather you call us and include us in that conversation. Um, you know, there's times maybe a third party is needed. There's times um, when a software engineers can fix something fairly quickly and easily, but it's just not that, that, that straightforward. Uh, from somebody who's not a software engineer or not a uh, not an experienced um, uh, consultant. So um, that is an option. It's not required. We want to hear from you. We want to be part of your your part of this conversation with, uh, with with whatever comes up as far as support your support needs. And I guess you know this is kind of the end of the of the support uh, tips and tricks section before we get into the. Um, into the, the new product. Are there any other uh, questions, Lauren? Well, let's see. <clears throat> I don't think I've seen anything else come through yet. Okay. Okay. So we've got a couple slides here uh, left and we've picked out, um, you know, there, there are literally hundreds of new features and functions that just came out with the 2022 R1. I believe it was released on the, was it the 16th, something like that. Uh, it was released last week. It was, it was last Wednesday. So it's available now. Um, it has a, a, a lot of really, you know, a, re, a lot of really interesting new features. And I guess I've picked out some that I, th I feel are, are kind of important and relevant. Um, you know, I got one slide of just kind of talking points, and then I've got another slide, which we're actually going to go over into the application and, and, and look around and kind of do some show and tell. Uh, CRM, so enhancement to CRM events, um, you know, um, and then it, it also has uh, enhanced merging of duplicates and association uh, of records. So that that sounds, you know, anybody who's getting <laughs> constantly trying to, you know, look at duplicates and, and sort those out, uh, that, that, that seems like a really good thing for the, the CRM area. Um, Enhanced support for user defined fields or activities on, on for activities, tasks and events. Um, you know, that's an area that I think, um, you know, we tend to get to customizations quickly. And if you're, especially for small license going through the, the automatic updates, or if you want to make your, your future updates, you know, user defined fields can be a way to kind of simplify that. And, you know, this enhanced support of those things inside activities, tasks and events would make a lot of sense. Um, Field service, uh, and this is this is a this is huge. Um, this is something that was not in previous uh, releases. The, you can take a, a service contract and you can do a renewal and an option to copy a service contract. Um, you know there there are some there were some challenges in that area. You know someone who's got a service contract for a couple of years and a building gets sold, and you know there wasn't a good way to to redefine that service contract. You know now we're now we're finding this is the first step towards giving more flexibility in the service contracts. Um, in finance, so um, you know, Acumatica embraces the um, uh, the AI uh, and the machine learning uh, capabilities uh, within Acumatica. That's there's a number of areas. Even search, you know, if you search for things, uh, uh, you know, do an inquiry on help. Um, you know, the, the, the AI will actually watch and, and, and see your answer, what you selected after you asked, asked to search for something, it'll then learn what you mean when you're looking for certain things in, in help text, as an example. Um, so the finance is, uh, area is now looking at uh, GL anomalies um, with AI and you know, detecting them and putting on dashboards. So those are two new features um, that, that sound like really interesting. Hey, you know, we go along, we're making GL entries for uh, certain things uh, throughout, a, throughout a month, throughout a year, and one comes along and it doesn't match the rest. It's gonna, it's gonna flag it and say, hey, hey, is this okay? And, and it's just, just a, great, a great, you know, feature uh, of value uh, that, that was just added to this. Um, and in addition to in the finance area, a support of multiple multiple base currencies for fixed assets. So, you know, you've got a 
you've got some machinery over in whether it's you know manufacturing machinery or you've got um, you know some construction machinery over in Canada. Well, now we can do that in Canadian dollars if we need to. Um, so it sounds like another another great great enhancement. <clears throat> So manufacturing control point operations and production routing. Um, that, let me explain a little bit more about that. So um, you, you're now allowed to set an operation, a, 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 a production, a, a routing step to be a control point. So an example that would make sense, and this doesn't exist in the previous version. You know, you, you've got, you want to, you get to a certain step, you go through your first three manufacturing, your, your work centers, three work centers, and you do those operations in those work centers. Now you've got to take this, this half finished product and you've got to send it out uh, to be tested. You have to send it out to an outside vendor for painting or uh, rust removal, whatever it might be. You know, you can now, you can now set that last routing step prior to that outside process as a checkpoint to say, hey, you know, we want to make sure that we got our, our quantities correct before we send this thing out uh, for outside processing. Really nice feature. I think that's going to become widely used. I think, uh, you know, as soon as I read this, I thought, gosh, how could, how would we live without this? You know, this seems like a really good thing to add to the production. Um, you know, uh, security is now um, document uh, visibility by branch. I'm missing the H there, but uh, document visibility uh, restrictions by branch. So um, another nice thing, if you've got certain uh, certain production facilities that are in a certain branch versus another branch, to, to lock that down, and a whole bunch a whole bunch of new predefined user roles uh, for manufacturing. Um, the mobile, uh, another another really significant change. Uh, the there's a new app uh, for mobile, and it now has workspaces. So um, the, 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 the previous uh, mobile app was functional. Uh, you logged in, you could get your list of, of, of areas that you're, you know, that you, that you need to, to work in. So now you've got workspaces that can be defined inside the mobile app. And there's a new, there's a new place to, to define those things in Acumatica. So that, that online experience took a big step forward. Um, the, the, I think the app was released last, um, it would have been, you know, maybe January timeframe. I think it was around the summit. Um, but now 2022 R1, now that feature function of defining those workspaces is in this new release of Acumatica. So, um, you know, take a look at that. Uh, I was impressed uh, just by the, the the more modern look and feel, the much more, it's a more feature rich, a little bit more uh, visually, um, you know, the workflow is, is, is certainly a little bit better than, than it used to be. Okay, so now I've got a couple of things that I want to show you uh, by going into the application. We're going to look at sales orders. There's a new order type here, and I'm going to show you some really interesting things about that. And then we're also going to look at construction and unit billing. I got a couple screenshots here, but we're actually going to go into Acumatica and, and look at these things. Um, Lauren, any new questions before we go and look at this? It does not. It does not look like it. Okay. Okay, so let me start my web browser. And we're going to go into Acumatica. Okay, so sales orders. Uh, I first want to show you that there is a new order type. And this comes as uh, not enabled. We enabled, we activated this just to show you, uh, give you some show and tell about it. It's called, it's a blanket order type. Um, and it does have some template features. So um, AR document is no update because it spins off orders from the blanket. And I want to take you through that process and kind of show you exactly what that what that looks like. Uh, so I've got a I've got a blanket order sales uh, blanket sales order set up. Let's go in and take a quick look at that and some of the some of the the, the unique new things. So of course we've got this new BL order type. Uh, we've got the the customer which is Westwood uh, Manor, and 
down here we've got a few items. We've got a, we've got some computers, and I'm going to move it over to the right here a bit, and I'm going to show you that this is going to their main location, right? But I've got some more computers we're going to put on this blank order. You, you'll also see that this has a, a, a start date and an expiration date. So this is that, that concept of we're going to commit to buying all this stuff from you between now and December 31st. And this is for our way that we can keep track of that. So we've got 20 of these computers that are going to go for the main branch. And we've got another 10 computers that are going to, that are going to go to the Michigan branch. So you get your primary location, and then you get your Michigan branch. So if we go in and we look at this line, so now we're going to look at line details for this first line. <clears throat> so we can say, okay, I want five of these on 4-1, and I want five more on 7-1. So these are kind of scheduled, scheduled releases of this line. And then as we you know, then it says, okay, well, the remainder, that, that leaves us 10. We're going to do that on 1231. But say I want to add, I want to add on August 1st. We're going to do August 1st, and I need two more on that date. I got somebody new starting, so we need a computer for them. And you'll see it automatically comes back and says, oh, okay, now that just leaves eight. What's the date we're going to put on that? And we're going to put that back out to... December 31st. So by this method, you can now set up, and again, these are all, these are all for the, these are for the main, the main, uh, the main location. We have a, another line down here, which was for that Michigan location. We'll look at the line details here. And again, we've got a couple of them here in, in 4-1, a couple of them 6-1, and then the rest on 12-31. So you can see now, so the scheduled order date we've got and the scheduled shipment dates, you've got these splits now. So now we've got two things introduced that we could never do before. We can take a one order and we can ship it to multiple locations, multiple addresses, and we can take um, an item with a quantity and we can split up how we're going to ship it out. Right? Um, so there's a couple things you can do. One of the things you can do now, now that we've got this blanket order set up, we can go to sales orders and we can process orders. Yeah, we better save that. Yeah, we're gonna save that. Okay, so we can go and process orders, which is a common place I think we all go commonly. Now we're gonna have a new feature. We can create child orders. And now it's asking for today's date, but we can go and we can set that to a, a certain date. Like we had a couple of releases were on 4.1. You know, this is one place that you can go. And again, this is that automated screen where we can actually go and set this up ahead of time. So we can actually go and, and say, we're gonna do this periodically and get those, get those child orders automatically created. <clears throat> we can also, set, we're going to set today's date to 4-1. And we're going to create child orders right here from within this order. So now it's going off to execute this for us. So now it's created two new SO order types. And why did it create two? Let's go take a look at why it created two. We also now have a new tab here for child orders. <clears throat> so now <clears throat> we had five of these that we're going to ship over to the main warehouse, and we've got five or two more shipping to the to the MI uh, to the Michigan uh, location. So we can actually drill into these. Now it's going to check inventory. We're going to create shipments. We're going to do ship confirmations. All that's going to happen here against this, but now we've got a we've got a a way to track right here within this blanket order exactly how many uh, shipments we've made out of that. 
So um, I think one more thing I want to show you here, <clears throat> we want to print a blanket sales order. There's a new document here that's going to get created. Um, so you can see that this is kind of a different layout than, than it was before. <clears throat> we've got our shipping address for our Michigan location um, and, and the quantity that we've got for that one. We've got our, our uh, Bronx, New York and, the, and the, the quantities we've got for that. So we've got a new way to kind of confirm a blanket order with somebody. So we can actually send this off to them by email or by, um, you know, by a printed document. What do you guys think of that? I, I, I think that's <clears throat> that's that's really well done. I think the workflows and uh, the way that uh, the way that Acumatic has designed and built this, I think, is 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 a really great starting point. Okay, um, so now we're going to go over to construction, and we're going to go look at uh, projects. And the thing that we're going to show you here is going to be the there's a, a, a new capability. <clears throat> this this was kind of there, these fields were there, uh, but it is now um, um, it's now uh, available as part of uh, this this new release and some of the feature function. So we want to go to well, what was the hotel here in our demo data? Here we go. So let's get let this open up. So now under tasks, we've got this in planning stage, right? So I had to set this back. This task is now in planning stage. And progress um, billing base, we can now set this to a quantity instead of an amount. So this allows us to start. Uh, using quantity based, so, you know, we, we're going to set targets for what we think we can get done in a day. Um, you know, how many, how many, how many pilings can we drive in in a day? You know, we're going to set standards for that and then we're going to start tracking our, our field operation against the quantities rather than uh, the amount that we're done. Um, you'll see this we will go over to revenue budgets. We've got quantities here that we can set in and our cost budgets are also going to be tracking quantities. Quantities, units of measure, and and a unit rate. Um, you know, there there's certain certain construction operations that that really need this this feature function, and uh, this is another really really interesting, really great thing that Acumatic has delivered uh, with this last release. So that's a, a quick show and tell around that. Um, so do we do we have any additional questions uh, from anybody after that? I haven't seen any come in yet, but uh, if anybody has questions, please feel free to either throw them in the chat or the Q and A, and uh, I will let Bob know. And that's that's pretty much the end of our uh, the end of our presentation today. Um, I I truly hope that uh, you found value in um, you know this this information. Um, I think it's all relevant and important to uh, any and all Acumatica users. Um, you know, feel free to any, ask any last questions. Uh, feel free to reach out to me. Here's my contact information at the end. Um, and I think Lauren's been in contact with you. Feel free to reach back out to Lauren for anything you need, or your sales rep, or your consultant that you know, whoever, uh, whoever you're interested. In, you know, feel free to reach out. Just, um, you know, this is this is something we're doing for you. Um, any any feedback you've got about future uh, future webinars, we'd always love to hear that too. So. Um, if there's no other questions, uh, I think we'll uh, we'll uh, we'll pause here and uh, and everyone have a great rest of your day. Yeah, thank you, Bob. I just yeah I wanted to reiterate what Bob said. Uh, we're really wanting to make sure that these events are um, subject matters that you need and that are helpful. So um, you can certainly respond to me when I send you the recording today. You can respond and let me know if you have something that you would like to see. Um, in the next Acumatica user forum or in the, you know, I think next uh, next month is going to be dashboards. But um, if you have another one after that that you really would like to see, then just let us know. And we'll do our best to uh, make sure we show you some tips and tricks with regards to that. So um, I don't see anything else, just lots of thank yous coming in. So thank, nice work, Bob. Um, so with that, I think I'm going to end the session. Hope you all have a great day and thanks again, Bob. Thank you, everybody. Bye-bye.